so when does Connie get back from Scotland? This weekend. She said she just had to do a couple of finishing touches on the paintings and she'd head back. <laughs> I didn't really think it was that funny. There's a MySpace app. I didn't even know there was still a MySpace. Didn't Justin Timberlake buy that from Fox for like 20 bucks and a bag of combos a few years ago? 10 years ago. 10? Jesus. I'm as a cruel mistress. Man, I haven't been on MySpace in years. I wonder what I've missed. You know what I haven't missed? That stupid dancing cat gif you had on your page. Good God, that was annoying. Jif. What? It's pronounced jif. Like the... Yes, like the peanut butter. That is so grammatically incorrect. It's hilarious. Like this. That has nothing to do with grammar. Or should I say drammer? Yeah, that was a pretty good burn. What? What? It's her. Who her? Exotic woman. Shut your filthy whore mouth. <gasps> Exotic woman. She sent me a message. Ten years ago. I didn't know she knew I even existed. Holy greatest American hero. Don't you mean greatest American hero? <laughs> Fine, I'll stop. What did she say? I'd love to see you. Brad? Excuse me? No way. Why would she be trying to get a hold of you? You never talked to her either. I talked to her a few times. We had a class together. Class? Yes, class. A session of education, usually in a group setting of 10 to 30 people on a campus of higher learning, also known as college. You never experienced it. I enjoyed the important experiences of college, like living in your dorm and later apartment. And, you know, chicks. Anyways, yes, I talked to Sabrina a few times. Sabrina? So exotic. And you never told me about this. Well, it was after I, we, moved out of Landon Hall and got the apartment. Guess it never really came up. She probably saw your pic and thought you were me. Do you have her contact info? No, she must not have tracked me down on Facebook yet. Then let the questionable social media stalking begin. Yeah, we are due for one of your annual courtroom showdowns, aren't we? Borg, shut up. Brad Thompson. Hi, Brad. It's me, Krista. Krista Starr. Oh, hey, Krista. What can I do for you? It's more what I can do for you. My boss here is pretty insistent on getting you onto my staff. I really have no interest in moving to D.C. or being on your staff. Hey, be closer to Mom! Look, Krista, I appreciate the fact you think you're trying to help my career, but I'm not going anywhere for a while. I just got back together with my girlfriend and we're working on building our future. Oh, I didn't know you and Connie were back together. Must be a pretty recent development. I'll let my boss know about your current situation. Thanks for the time, Brad. Current situation? What the hell does that mean? And how does she know who Connie is? It's called the internet, Brad. The info's out there, you just have to know where to grab it. Like this, Sabrina's phone number. You're aware of my hourly court rate. This is Brad. Brad, I need you to pick up a prescription for me if you have the time today. Sure, what is it? Woman, what is the nature of the drug paraphernalia I need Brad to secure? Is it of a sexual nature? Remember what happened the last time you pulled a stunt like that? I couldn't stand straight for days on end. It was so inconvenient. Pish posh. That physician was just making a joke when he said that. It was very funny. I laughed, that's why. I apologize, Brad. Mrs. Mister has a rather nasty habit of taking everything my doctor says quite literally. I feel just fine, but she insists that I heed the physician's wishes. So be it. Just give them my name at the pharmacy by the mall. I shall, of course, reimburse you, plus stock options. Sounds good. I'll bring everything in tomorrow. See you, Mr. Mister. Thank you again, Brad. Woman, why are you so upset? I'm as healthy as a cheetah, damn it. There. Now we play the waiting game. You texted her? I just made her damn day, that's what I did. Okay, 12.05, I'm officially on the clock. Oh, come on, Brad. Everything's great. <gasps> Exotic woman. Aw, yeah. This is Brad. Hey, Brad, you got a minute? Uh, yeah, of course. What time is it there? We're only five hours ahead of you. Listen, the client has a few more changes he wants for the paintings, so I'm probably not going to make it back until next week. Oh, okay. Well, how's the rest of your trip going? Have you had a chance to check out the sites? Yeah, Scottish Brad has been showing me around. I'm hoping to see the Kelvin Grove Museum later on. That's still on my list. I wish you wouldn't call him that. I feel strangely threatened. He's Scottish. And his name is Brad. Well, Bradford. Yeah, I know. Oh, Brad. I hate it when you get jealous. I'm not jealous. I just don't like the sound of... The sound of what? Nothing's happening. He's just taking me to a museum. Relax. Fine, but I don't want you eating any haggis. Okay. I guess. 
Love you. Love you too. Damn it, why did I just say that? Because you're not as smooth as me. Behold. I can talk more later, maybe. Yeah, smooth as intergalactic silk, Lando. Well, at least I didn't make any haggis-related demands. Don't you mean haggis? Ha 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 you're still making fun of the pronunciation of a word. I get it. You have wit, jerk. Don't you mean gurk? Where the hell are we? Smells like Vermont. Jeff.